What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Another video coming at you. This one's going to be short and quick. This is just how to wire up your air shifter if you have a Holly, how to hook it up. It's simple. It took like five minutes to do, honestly. It's two wires from the ECU. One, I use power from the ECU, 12 volt, and then just hook it to a ground. I mean, as simple as it can get. I didn't know a shifter would be this easy, but let me show you. All right, so first off, we finally got the bumper mounted on this thing. It ain't going nowhere finally, but let me show you. Let me show you. Here we go. Got the air shifter, brand new air shifter in this deal. Uh, found it on Facebook Marketplace. Some dude had one. I made a post, luckily. Somebody did able to have one for me. But so you just got your new shifter. You got your solenoid. So what you want to do, I just had a power and ground in here my ground i just went to my base where i have all of my grounds i have one big let me show you i have one big oh you can't see it i have one big uh bar where all of my grounds go to and then my power wire right here i just hooked it up to the one of the ecu outputs actually i haven't even tucked it in it's still right here but so that's all you have to do one side of the solenoid to the output one side of the solenoid to the ground, or if you have um, no output that has 12 volt, then you can do it the opposite way. Uh, I may attach the picture to show you what outputs are able to go 12 volt and which ones are ground only, but let me show you real quick on the computer how I did this. So what you want to do on the computer, just real easy, go to inputs, outputs, go to outputs, then you make one, oh, I don't have it on this, we'll just go ahead and make one, shifter, press enter, you're going to go ahead and enable it, and I made mine for a 12 volt, okay, it's just saying it's been changed. And like I said, I did 12 volt on mine, so you're gonna enable and then configure. And this is how you decide how you're gonna start it. So let's go, let's say you wanna start this at RPMs. Let's see, where's RPM, there it is. You want it to shift at say 7,000. Let's go ahead and put this at like 69.50. When RPM is above that. And I did a deactivate. I'm not sure if that's the correct way or not, but 6970. Let's try that. That's what I did for mine. Hopefully that works. I haven't had a full chance to test it yet, but I have a start and a stop. One thing that triggers it, if you want, you can do it off of other sensors. You know, like, it'll activate when, let's say, when trans brake is disabled. That way it won't happen until after you launch. But, honestly, after you do that, that's it. You just, then you go to pin map up here. Go to view, inputs, view outputs, shifter. And you're just going to move that, drag it, click, drag, and drop to whatever output wire you went to and then it's just that easy like i said some of these input i mean output sensors are ground only some are power and ground either way um oh you can see power ground ground power power but yeah i mean it's that easy and just done and you're done shifter works now but just want to do that quick video just so if you're trying to install one of these and you're kind of confused on what to do, like I said, one wire to ground, one to power. The ground one for me went to my ECU, to the outputs. Um, and it's just honestly that simple. It's, yeah, piece of cake. Easiest thing I've done on this truck so far, probably. But, yeah, hopefully that helps some people so you're not confused like I was because I thought this was going to be a big ordeal trying to hook up Hey, air shifter i've never had one before but you know it's easy two wires that's it 10 seconds on the computer we've done this video in less than 
five minutes now so that's it that's a short little thing for you just how to do that showed you the new bumper the wraps coming this week we'll do a video when brandon comes over we'll wrap the bumper hopefully and be finished still waiting on the fuel pump but other than that we're finished and we'll see you next video hopefully later this week show you real quick on the computer how i did this so what you want to do on the computer just real easy go to inputs outputs go to outputs then you make one oh i don't have it on this we'll just go ahead and make one shifter press enter you're gonna go ahead and enable it and i made mine for a 12 volt okay it's just saying it's been changed and like i said i did 12 volt on mine so you're going to enable and then configure and this is how you decide how you're going to start it so let's go let's say you want to start this at rpms let's see where's rpm there it is you want it to shift at say 7000 let's go ahead and put this at like 69.50 when rpm is above that and i did a deactivate i'm not sure if that's the correct way or not but 69.70 let's try that that's what i did for mine hopefully that works i haven't had a full chance to test it yet but i have a start and a stop one thing that triggers it if you want you can do it off of other sensors you know like it'll activate when let's say when trans brake is disabled that way it won't happen till after you launch but honestly after you do that that's it you just then you go to pin map up here go to view inputs view outputs shifter and you're just going to move that drag it click drag and drop to whatever output wire you went to and then it's just that easy like i said some of these input i mean output sensors are ground only some are power and ground either way um oh you can see power ground ground power power but yeah i mean it's that easy and just done and you're done shifter works now but just want to do that quick video just so if you're trying to install one of these and you're kind of confused on what to do, like I said, one wire to ground, one to power. The ground one for me went to my ECU, to the outputs. Um, and it's just, honestly, that simple. It's, yeah, piece of cake. Easiest thing I've done on this truck so far, probably. But, yeah, hopefully that helps some people so you're not confused like I was. Because I thought this was going to be a big ordeal trying to hook up fucking air shifter i've never had one before but you know it's easy two wires that's it 10 seconds on the computer we've done this video in less than five minutes now so that's it that's a short little thing for you just how to do that showed you the new bumper the wraps coming this week we'll do a video when brandon comes over we'll wrap the bumper hopefully and be finished still waiting on the fuel pump but other than that we're finished and We'll see you next video, hopefully later this week. See y'all next time.